We will not build a, a safer, greener and more resilient world unless women are equal participants in the economy, in society and in policy making. This is especially true in a crisis period such as today. Today, my thoughts go especially to the women of Ukraine, as many of them have committed to fight for the future of their country, on the battlefield or caring for their families and neighbours. Women all over the world are disproportionately vulnerable to conflicts and their economic consequences, such as lack of professional opportunities, access to education or to medical assistance. During such dark times, women tend to become the main caretakers and some of them are forced to flee their home to save their life and that of their children. Women are typically underrepresented in conflict resolution. This can undermine the stability of peace agreements. Beyond matters of peace and war, that is such on our mind, gender inequality also has an impact on the economy as a whole. The world over, women are overworked, underrepresented, underpaid, and always the first victim when the situation deterior deteriorates. Bringing them on, restoring equality, would actually deliver huge value for all of us. It is essential that the labour market and society support the careers of women equally to the careers of men. At the current pace, it will take 135 years to close the gender pay gap. We clearly have a lot to do and many challenges to overcome. Let's not make the tragic mistake of underestimating what women can bring to the table. All tables, at home, at work, and in peace negotiations as well.